P.O. Sports Talk. I'm Lizzie Arbogast along with Sean Michael. And uh, it's been a bit snowy and blustery. And a winter wipeout, I guess has. we're going to call it. That has. Yeah. But, um, you know, we still have a lot to talk about. Still some, some big stuff going on. We'll start over in District 5, actually. Um, Bannett Metal, Walker Bannister, hit a big career milestone, hit his 1,000th point on Monday, I believe. So... Um, big game for him. It's not, you know, that's definitely a feat. Right? Yeah, but not new for Walker this year. I mean, he's been their offense for a lot of the season. Yeah. I mean, they have a lot of other players, but when he's scoring, they're rolling, that's for sure. Right, definitely. Um, also, not another big surprise, uh, <laughs> Southern Fulton's uh, Macy Hollinsett is tracking down the girls basketball scoring record. Um, she needs just 37 more points. Uh, she has 1,405, and the record is 1,442. Um, yeah, one more game this week, but I think she's probably going to knock on the door next early next week. Yeah, I think she. I think it's safe to say she's going to break that record. I think it might also be safe to say she's easily one of the best players to ever go through that high yeah. school. I mean, you know, I've only been here for a couple of years, but she's she's definitely fantastic yeah. and, and one of the most impressive players I've ever seen in terms of just knowing the court and knowing where to be and things like yeah, that. Yeah, and also, I mean, you see, talk about the scoring, but she she hovers around a triple-double yeah. every game. It's not just scoring. She right. does it all. And what's amazing about her is that her doubles are coming from assists a lot of times, yeah. which means that she's not the only offensive player for Assists, that steals, rebounds, it's always there for yeah, her. Yeah, she's doing it all. <laughs> um, uh, over in District 3, uh, had a big win from the Waynesboro boys basketball team again this week. They just they keep coming at us. So um, they played... Quad A Mechanicsburg, who was ten and four entering the game, beat him by like five points. I think you know how how what can Waynesboro do this year? Do you think? Well, it's it's confusing because they'll they'll come out and they'll light up a team like Mechanicsburg, they'll get a win, but then they lost to Gettysburg. So you just, I mean, I think a lot of it relies on the shooting mm -hmm. and how they For come sure. out shooting that night and their defense. It's, I mean, they play through that that press defense is what gets them where they go, and right. then the outside shooting. Right. Um, Coach Tom Hoffman actually said to me he thinks that if all of his shooters were on on one given night, they could push 100. Yeah, I mean, you make a like a like an NBA reference. It reminds me of the Magic with Dwight Howard right. when he was with the Magic. He would be down low, but then all, they relied on their three point shooting all the yeah. time, and they won or lost by it. And that's really that's where Waynesboro is at. Exactly. Uh, another another big uh, team, you know, on the rise this year, Greencastle Girls. Yeah. Remain undefeated, but they do have a big test this big weekend. Big test, very um, big. They have Middletown at uh, on Saturday, actually at three thirty. They're hosting Middletown, and Middletown is fifteen and one. Fifteen and one. Now yeah. I don't know a lot about them in terms of you know who they play and what that record really means, but fifteen and one versus fifteen and zero or well, yeah. I mean, whatever well, Greencastle is at this point. One one. Um, Bump in the road, you could say, is that Greencastle also plays Friday night and right. a back to back. You never know how a team's going to respond. Plus, it's a weekend game, but you have four great girls on that team. Um, it's going to be fun. Yeah. And after and we, this week. And we also don't know, you know, who Middletown's playing on Friday. True. With all the cancellations yeah. up there, you yeah. know, anybody could be playing at any time at this point. Everybody's crushing games in. Yeah. There's scrunch. <clears throat> um, our live stream game this week is going to be Central Dolphin at Chambersburg Boys. And I think we've, you know, we've been talking about Chambersburg boys yeah. all year. And what do they need to do to get a win here in the last think, two weeks? I think every week we see them have one good quarter. They'll have one quarter where they win. They win that quarter. Even, I mean, uh, Carlisle they just played. They won a quarter against Carlisle. Make it four quarters, you know. Right. I mean, the everyone's rooting, everyone, everyone around here is rooting for them. We want them to get a win. But, I mean, you got to play four quarters of consistent basketball, and that means finding offense right. especially. Uh, what was so enlightening to me last time I talked to Coach Bogans was he mentioned team chemistry. Yeah, yeah. And while team chemistry certainly isn't everything, it's very hard to play uh, when there's sort of off-the-court issues that yeah. maybe we don't know about, the press doesn't know about, the public doesn't know about. Mm -hmm. So, um, Also, our game of the week this week is Chippensburg at Chambersburg Wrestling. Um, that should be a good little local contest. Both yeah. teams have some very strong wrestlers. Um, any predictions? Um, I don't have many predictions. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good match. Um, I think there's a lot of different weight classes where you can see a lot of good matches. I mean, right. but, who, I, I would give Chambersburg the edge, I would say, but I, I would don't know how confident I'm in that. I'd say probably a little bit. I think what's going to be interesting is that Shippensburg is very strong where Chambersburg isn't as strong, right. and Chambersburg is very strong where Shippensburg yeah. isn't as strong. Yeah. So I expect a lot of bonus points, mm -hmm. a lot of good matches, and um, you know, hopefully it'll be a good, a good wrestling match. So. All right. All right, until next week, enjoy the games.